guys, welcome back to another crafty decor adventure. I am so excited to have you all here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all six DIY Dollar Tree Cottage Chic Farmhouse decor crafts. So I also have to let you all know that May is gonna be the month of giveaways. I am here to absolutely spoil you all and give you all something to look forward to. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, click the bell, it will update you every time I post a new video and you don't wanna miss out because these giveaways are gonna be pop-up giveaways um, and I just have to spoil you guys. First of all, I have to say thank you for being here, for sticking with me. I know I felt a little fumbling around through this last month, but I feel like the month of May, I'm getting my groove back and I'm gonna share this with you guys. Also, I'm pushing myself to be more creative within my home. So we're gonna be crafting and decorating on a budget as always. And I'm gonna share with you guys all my amazing tips and tricks. Now, I know you guys are here for the crafts, so I will stop yappering on. Go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna repurpose and reuse these Dollar Tree Easter Bunny signs. I'm gonna go ahead and clip the little hanger off of the top. And these were the tag style signs, so I have them turned over with the writing facing down. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this Waverly white chalk paint, and I'm gonna give them a good coat of chalk paint. I also wanna let you all know that I did end up giving these signs two coats of chalk paint, and I like to give them about an hour in between coats to let them dry thoroughly. Once the signs were dry, it was time to go ahead and glue them together. So I'm gonna turn them chalk painted face sign down. And then I'm just taking this leftover Dollar Tree sign. I'm actually making Christmas ornaments out of the other pieces of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fit them closely together. And then I'm gonna hot glue the seam of the sign. And then I'm gonna use the rest of this Dollar Tree sign to hot glue onto the back of this. Now, if you all have some paint sticks or some popsicle sticks, you guys could always just use those. I'm out of those um, right now as far as crafting is concerned, so I'm just using this extra sign. Now I'm gonna take some black craft paint and this little sponge tool that has definitely seen better days and I accidentally left paint on it and it had gotten a little dry and crusty. Anyway, but so I went ahead and started out making just a little edging around this. My goal for this is to make it look like it's an enamel style sign. I want to put the letters of bakery on it. I have been admiring one of those bakery signs at Michael's for the longest time. And once I saw these little tag sizes on these signs, I thought these would be absolutely perfect to recreate. Um, the Michael sign and this sign is only going to cost me about three dollars plus some paint and the Michael sign I believe was like forty six dollars um, Now it was enamel wear or faux enamel wear But I'm really thinking that this sign is going to be super cute So I just started out and put a light dusting of black chalk paint around the entire sign and once I had that done, I decided to let that dry and then go ahead and begin to add my lettering. So I'm gonna take this little ruler and I'm gonna take these letters from Dollar Tree. These are just the regular poster board letters and I'm gonna use the poster board letters to write bakery on here. And I like to just kind of eyeball um, my lettering, but this does have measurements. So I'm measuring it about an inch apart. If you guys are really precise, um, you guys can see that I'm just kind of going for it this way. And the little ruler is helping me keep um, my letters straight. So I'm just going ahead and spilling bakery on this cute little sign.
Here is how it looked after I got my bakery letters on. I thought it was super adorable, but I also decided that I felt like I needed to go ahead and paint the edges. And so I'm just going in with some more chalk paint. This time I grabbed a paintbrush because I wanted to go to town and make it look a little bit more heavier of a black distressing, kind of like enamel wear it has a little bit heavier of black around it. Anyway, I just wanted it to be more pronounced. So I'm taking my um, paintbrush here and I'm just adding black paint all the way around the edge to give it a lot more of a finished edge. And also if you guys really wanted to finish it out really well, you'd probably also want to paint the back. But because this is going to be up against a wall or something behind it, I really don't feel like that's going to be necessary. If you were going to set it in front of a mirror though, you would want to probably chalk paint the back. I'm kind of bad about not painting the backs of things. You can ask my husband, he gives me a hard time about it all the time. And here is the finished product for just a couple of dollars. I am definitely crushing on this. Now you guys can see the line in the center. I really didn't notice that until um, I was editing this video. And so I probably will go back and use a little bit of um, patch and paint or patch filler and maybe fill that. Or I might just live with the imperfections. I do like more of a shabby chic decor look, but I thought this was so fun and fabulous. And for only a couple of dollars, it was definitely a win. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree spring sign. Um, it's kind of getting past spring and I'm wanting to go for more of a cute little cottage kitchen look. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove the top to this sign. You guys could really use any Dollar Tree seasonal sign or if you just have a scrap piece of wood, that would work too. Now I'm using this scrap piece of tablecloth um, that I had left over from another project. I'm just going to hot glue onto the edge of the sign and I'm going to use this tablecloth in several DIYs on this video. You guys are probably going to crack up because I'm really repurposing, reusing this one little scrap of um, yellow tablecloth piece. I will put a yellow tablecloth also in my Amazon store in case you guys want to duplicate this or would like a cute little yellow tablecloth. So I'm just continuing to add some hot glue to the sides of this and then I'm trimming it off and I'm going to continue to add in one other piece of yellow tablecloth and also secure the edges with some dabs of hot glue. Now that I have my sign all covered, I'm going to go in with the stay humble, work hard, and be kind. This is a piece of lettering that I found at Dollar Tree, and I really love this saying. I feel like it's such a great reminder at this time. Um, staying humble is something I always need to constantly remember. I'm a hard worker, but I do love that work hard um, and then be kind. I think all those things to me are just really speaking to me, and I really love the the pops of black and yellow together. I feel like it's just so springy and summery, actually more summery, but super cute. And I will tell you that these Dollar Tree letters were really easy to use. And if you mess up, you can just kind of peel them back up and um, reposition them. So go for it. Don't be afraid. And if you guys are like me and you don't have a Cricut machine yet, um, this is definitely a great option. But if you do have a Cricut machine, let me know. Do you love it? Is it hard to use? I'm really considering getting one and also possibly doing a giveaway for one. So definitely let me know if you guys think this is something that is really awesome awesome and a good tool to have in my craft arsenal.
And once I have my lettering on, I'm just reattaching the little sign hanger that was already on there. I did have to pull back a little bit of the vinyl tablecloth and then re-glue it. Um, sometimes just crafting is a work in progress, if you guys know what I mean. So anyway, I thought this was really cute. I would like to add some type of frame to it. So if I did that, I would probably remove the little top, but this is really cute and it's gonna go um, either in my studio or in my kitchen. I am just so in love with the lemon dishes. I found those at Dollar Tree. A lot of you guys have been asking me. I found them last season, um, but I'm also going to put a 16 piece set of lemon dishes in my Amazon store. They're a pretty good deal. They're not quite as cheap as Dollar Tree, but if you guys are really itching for them and you don't want to get out and you're like me, you're starting to learn how to order stuff online, you might want to go for that. So for the next DIY, I'm going to take another scrap of this yellow tablecloth and I'm just going to make a cute little banner to really tie in the little bit of yellow yellow tablecloth um, pattern here and so I'm just going to go ahead and cut a triangle out and then I'm going to use that original triangle to outline where I want to cut for the rest of the banner. So you'll just cut your first triangle out and then position the next one to continue to cut. I did go ahead and cut two more of the vinyl tablecloth banners or little triangles and then I'm just going to hot glue them on either end to attach them. I was thinking about putting some lettering on the little banner but I wasn't for sure what I might want to use. I also was thinking streamers might be cute but I want to live with it for just a moment. Sometimes I get a little crazy with my embellishments and it can be a bit much so I'm going to live with it and see what I think but if you guys have any ideas let me know for sure. Now I'm just going to take some of that Dollar Tree jute twine and I'm going to hot glue the jute twine to the back of it to give it a little bit more stability and also so it's just on one piece of string and then the end of the string you guys can make a little loop and that can help you hang it to wherever you're wanting to hang it. So I decided to string it above this little cabinet underneath the bakery sign. I just thought that would be so cute and a fun way to add a pop of color and whimsy to this beautiful little display. Stay humble, work hard, be kind and also reuse lots of your scraps. I definitely have been digging into my craft stash and I'm crafting with everything that I already have on hand. So comment and let me know if you guys are doing the same. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking this little Dollar Tree, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet sign, a Dollar Tree pom-pom, my hot glue gun, a Dollar Tree candlestick, and then some little beads. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue the pom-pom down inside of the candlestick. And then I'm gonna take these little beads. I actually got these off of another project that I found at Dollar General during the springtime and I'm just going to begin to hot glue the little beads around the top part of the candlestick. My idea is to make like a little riser to set the um, cute little sign on. I've had this sign for a while but if you guys have these signs you may notice that they like to kind of tip backwards so I thought it'd be great to just put it on top of a riser that will elevate it and also give it a little bit of stability. So I'm just continuing to hot glue the little beads in and around at the top part of my candlestick and I came up short one bead and lo and behold I remember I had put it in this other little container which is completely unusual. I usually lose small pieces. I actually lose things constantly with my crafting but small pieces are hard to find. So I decided to go ahead and paint the beads so I painted them white with a dab of spray paint. I let that dry and now I'm going in with some pretty little greenery 
to add to the top of this, I decided to give it even a little bit more stability. I was concerned that my sign might not sit on top of the beads very good. And so I thought it would also be really cute and festive to put the greenery on it. It would match the little yellow sign. So I just continued to glue some greenery on here um, to make it a little bit more stable and fun. Now I decided to make a bow for the base of this. I'm just gonna take this cute little black and white striped ribbon and I am just going to make it into a bow. So to make this little bow, you're just gonna hot glue your two ends of ribbon together and this is a great way to use up ribbon scraps. So once you have that part hot glued, then you could go ahead and hot glue the center point. So hot glue the center point and then kind of squeeze the ribbon down and you're gonna give it a good squeeze and then to give it a little bit more stability, you can even hot glue into the center or you can tie something in the center. I wanted to give it kind of a ruching effect so I did just go ahead and hot glue this in the center and then I went in with some white and black polka dot ribbon and I just wrapped that around the center. If you guys have ever seen one of those little cute baby bows this is how they make the baby bows and then you just put a barrette underneath that. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that out and then clip that off and then I'm just going to hot glue that to the base of my pretty little lemon sign. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this cute little container, another scrap of that lemon tablecloth fabric, and then this little Dollar Tree. It's kind of like a little steak with a chalkboard on top of it. It comes in a three pack. I can't find the other two, but I decided to use this one and make a cute little tag. So I'm just cutting this fabric the size that I want to be the tag, and I want it to kind of stick out a little bit. So then once I had that done, I'm just going to hot glue my little chalk board to the front of this. These are so fun to use on party tables or just as a little accent piece or even on a coffee bar. So I'm going to take and I'm going to make it into more of a tag shape by trimming it down just a bit and then I did just trim either edge off. So I just went ahead and popped a piece of jute twine in the top. I cut a little hole in the top with some scissors. Definitely be careful doing that. And then I just went in with some chalk markers, which these are amazing if you guys have not tried them. My son's girlfriend ordered them off of Amazon, I believe. Um, she used them for her car, but they are so cute and easy to use. And I've used them even on another chalkboard project. So those are fun and fabulous if you guys wanna try something. And it gives you that chalkboard effect, but it's a lot easier to use and it doesn't run everywhere. So I just popped some little straws into here. I wrote straws and then a heart at the top and the bottom. And there you all have it. Fun and fabulous. I love these pops of lemon for a little sunshine yellow and then blacks and white. Now whatever color you guys are de decorating with, definitely go for those colors. But I thought this might bring a smile to your face as always. And definitely stay tuned for the giveaway 
on this video. Can't wait to share with you guys. For the next DIY, I'm taking this little Dollar Tree candle base and it had a candle in it, but we burnt the candle and then I cleaned it out really well. And then I'm just taking this Bath and Body Works candle top and I'm gonna make a super easy, just cute little cake pedestal. So I'm adding some hot glue to the top of the candle, but actually really this is the bottom. So I had just flipped the candle over and then I'm adding my hot glue. I'm adding the little um, Bath and Body Works topper on. Now this was just a winter candle. It had this cute little scalloped edge, so I thought it would be perfect. I'm adding on a lemon cake and voila, we have an ultra fabulous little um, cake stand for next to nothing. So great way to repurpose and reuse those candle lids. Now you guys, I'm so excited. I have been bursting at the seams to share this giveaway with you guys. I hope you love this video and as always, let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Again, I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. And y'all, it is time for the giveaway. I am so excited to begin to spoil you all through the month of May. May is going to be the month of giveaways. Now, I recently hit 150,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, and I have to give back to you guys and say thank you so I'm gonna be giving away $150 to a gift card of your choice. You can choose Amazon, Walmart, Visa, or MasterCard. But all you guys have to do is comment below. Leave a comment. Any comment will do. You guys can leave hearts. You can tell me what you want your next what, what you want my next video to be. Whatever it is you guys want to comment, all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and comment down below. The month of May is going to be fabulous. We are going to look forward to this. Now, I have another challenge for you guys. I need you guys to follow my other social media accounts. So I have a Lily's Romantic Home Facebook page. Go over there, like and follow over there because there are gonna be some pop-up giveaways over there as well. Now, I also have an Instagram page. Go over and follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be sharing some pop-up giveaways over there. I just have to spoil you guys. Again, I have to give you guys something to look forward to. So, I love you guys. Don't forget to comment down below. You'll be entered in this first giveaway. It's gonna be a $150 gift card. It is gonna be announced in a week's time. So I'll leave all the details down below for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for being here. I also wanna encourage you guys to keep up the good work, crafting and decorating and just staying positive. Keep your spirits up. Be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.